EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two-touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for concern defensively, but all in all, they'll take a repeat here if they could get and off we go from SoFi Stadium. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. The L.A. offense going to go to work for the first time. And it is the veteran Matthew Stafford at the helm in his 16th NFL season and fourth with the Rams. When I was watching film this week, I had to write a note to myself. Three touchdown passes in an NFL game deserves respect, not ho-hum just because they throw it around all the time, and he got his respect, NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah, it's the ultimate vote of confidence from a week ago. Hey, look, he was great, not his best game ever, but obviously was very good to garner that award. All the talk this week, though, was about let's take that forward now. Now Stafford. That's to the second-year man, Puka Nakula. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. <laughs> Throwing is Stafford. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. For a first down screen pass, good for five. Well, CD, you see some of the injuries that have popped up for this franchise and obviously hoping to get these guys back sooner rather than later. Yeah, and these guys, they've been hearing the mantra next man up since their Friday night light games in high school. It's three simple words, but they're absolutely perfect to use, and everyone has adopted them. Next guy up, do your best. And that one too wide and incomplete. You look at this Eagle defense. And this unit, very tough to throw against. Currently second best in the NFL. And since this is such a good unit at covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typical of what we might see. A lot of short passes, see if they can generate some run after the catch, but nothing doing on that one. Oh, and that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. So this is where we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try and create some space. Here's a second and eight. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Hurts. Dancing to his left. And they'll get him down up past the 15. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're... Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Saquon Barkley. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Eagles are on the board first on the road here in L.A. 
On that long touchdown, look, the pass was fine, but it was short. What Saquon did after the catch, that's impressive. And that's just demoralizing if you're on the defensive side of the ball, too, because if he catches a short one, that's your opportunity to tackle him, put him on the ground, and get up for the next down. Instead, he makes a move, he makes people miss, he runs through tackles, he spins, he jukes, and he continues to run because once he gets into the open field and turns it loose, he can fly. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Rams offense, led by their running back, headed out for the second possession. And as we check out the NFL leaders and rushing touchdowns coming into the weekend, see a familiar name there near the top of the leaderboard, currently second in that category. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they are back to 500 on the year, got the win last weekend, and it's one that kept their playoff hopes alive. And if you do have those hopes, 500 is not where you want to be at this point of the year. Now, we know they've battled through some rough patches this season, so it now comes down to how they're going to finish. Not out of it. Can't afford any more missteps, though. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Uh, first run now for Kyron Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. He's going to find Atwell open downfield. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. 2-2 Two -two Atwell. His first touchdown on the year. And the Rams are an extra point away from evening this one up. Great corner route there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. A drive there of just four plays. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Eagles offense and running back Saquon Barkley ready to get going again. And he has been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers for this first half. This defense is going to need to find some way to key in on him because he is eating him up right now. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play with one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as he's up to the 45. Throwing his hurts. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. From the 46, here's second down and one. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Hurts sets up to throw it. Now he'll escape to his right. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. These two teams all 
tied after one. Eagles in possession. So first and ten now from the 30. As they've got it as we resume action. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. The slot man in motion right. From the gun, it's Hurts. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Ball at the 14 for second and five. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Here's Hurts to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Eagles have taken the lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score 14-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Here's second and ten. Now it's Stafford. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Buried for the sack by big Jalen Carter. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack. Now they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. Here comes the Rams punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And it's fielded at the 34. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. And he's been a real threat, not just with the arm, but with the wheels as well. NFL's leader amongst quarterbacks in terms of rushing touchdowns. Gets around him. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they stouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. 
19 yards there on the catch and run. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They're going to look to throw. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up second down. He'll drop to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 11 yards for number 11. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Up the middle with Barkley. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The kick by Elliott is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to seven. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Here's Stafford. Going for the deep ball. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. 2-2 two -two Atwell. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Rams are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. But let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who have been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys on the other side of the football. And they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. They'll look to throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half.
On third down, he'll drop to throw. Brown with his stick skills. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. This from 54 yards away. And this is off the left upright. And it comes back. It's no good. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we'll send you back over to Orlando. With Separating our these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense and their running back getting set to go once more. And he continues to be a nuisance for opposing defenses that are tasked with trying to slow him down. He's currently second in the NFL in rushing. The Eagles' offense set to begin their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And this defense not giving them anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Second and nine. A handoff to Barkley on the option. Stop shy of the 45. Showed off a nice little move on the play, though. They'll come up now, third and three. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And did he put that on a dime? He did. Wow. Out of bounds at the one-yard line. The Rams offense and Matthew Stafford set to take over once again. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. Talk about angling that one perfectly, partner. We know the ball can bounce anywhere, especially how it's shaped. But that one, as if on cue, goes out of bounds perfectly. Perfect indeed, right at the one-yard line. Excellent coffin corner punt. So nothing doing there. And that will bring up second down. Here's Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 10. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. Pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit, too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. And some room to maneuver. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. 
Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. That's quickly to Atwell on the slam. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. To throw is Stafford. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's got this down to the 35. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Puka Nakua, 35 yards. And the Rams have taken the lead here this third quarter. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. The extra point splits the uprights. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drive goes eight plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And out now come the Eagles. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Back to throw. And he whips that one incomplete there. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit. A lot of people making plays behind him in the field. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. In motion left comes Brown. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Back to throw now on first down. Flush. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. He'll look to throw. Open man has got it, the tight end. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Throwing his hurts. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 
Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. They begin the drive with Williams. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. And what a tough spot for this defense because they know it's coming, but they're just powerless to stop it. What a great run there to start the drive. And you can bet there'll be more where that came from as they try to ice this game away. This one swung out to Williams. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Off of play action. Here's Stafford. Trying to lay one up deep. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. The offense on third down tonight. Just one for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Throwing at Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Going to run the sweep here. This is Cup. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Back to throw. Stafford. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. Nolan Smith brings him down on the pass rush. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now Hurts on the option right. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Hurt sets up to throw it. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Fourth down. Ten yards to go. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Bearing it out deep for Smith. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. Stafford. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. 
fourth touchdown pass of the game for Matthew Stafford. And the Rams are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down. And now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down. And after that, the air just went right out of the balloon. And you knew you were looking at a defeated team. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here's first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Complete. Smith has it. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They'll come up now on second down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Out of the gun now on third down. Pass complete, Goddard. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Again, he'll drop to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. They'll try again here. Second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, you get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the football. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. What a game we were treated to in this one. And then on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So for L.A., they move back over 500 now at 6-5. and five. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.